Hold on. Hi, my name is Heather Beller, and my lesson for my smart board is going to be for kindergartners, and it's going to be a math lesson. I got the idea for using the same past objectives from my web quest that I did, which, which was also for kindergartners. And so I want to share with you the past objectives, and they are center one patterns. The student will sort and classify objects and analyze simple patterns. They will sort and group objects into a set and explain verbally what the objects have in common. Color, size, and shape. And all through the lesson we'll see uh, what this past objective is talking about. Of course, before I taught, I would teach them you know, the tools, what we're going to use, and how to use them, as well as I would be there right beside them. I would want this to be a small group lesson, that way they can work together and I can work with them more uh, closely and they can learn how to really just do uh, collaborative working and working together and learn skills that they're going to be needing to use. So in this one I would say, okay, how many oranges do we see? And we would count together, one, two. And for this slide I want to know that they know, uh, they can distinguish the amount of oranges there are to the written number. And so I would come right here, I would let them choose, we would do the highlighter, and we would choose whatever color that we really wanted to. And so uh, we see two, and say they circled one, um, that would be incorrect, so I would say, okay, let's try again. And so I would let them erase this, all of that, and then we would just circle the right one until they add right, and then... It would just help me help me to know what I needed to reteach and make sure that they really uh, understand it. So we both know it's two. So we're going to go to the next slide. And the next slide is the exact same one. It's just bigger numbers. So I would say, okay, how many frogs do we see? And we would count together one, two, three, four, five, six. And they would circle the six. So we would choose a pin. Now I let them choose that. I think it's important that they get to choose uh, their own own color because it makes it an interactive lesson, makes it a creative lesson. And instead of having worksheets, this is you know this has color and makes it more pleasing to the eye. So it just helps them kind of enjoy it more. All right. So our next one, this is for uh, tracing, and this helps them with their fine motor skills and being able to write each number with accuracy. And so we pick a pin. I'll let them, again, pick whatever they wanted to pick and say that we picked blue. And so we would trace each one, of course. And see, so, you know, I'm kind of going off, so we might even, you know, erase it a little bit and say, okay, let's try to get them on the dot. And they just go back. It's there. And we click. So, there we go. You always go back to the mouse. Then we do the clicker. This is dragging. Uh, they're going to write a line to the correct number that it is is written in words with the numbers. And so this just helps me to see that they, they know that they're the same even though it's different written. And so I would actually let them use the creative pin and I really really like it because they get to choose you know whichever one they want so we do I like the rainbow the best so we would choose four five and six and then that that's that's that one this one is the spinner so I would let them spin and whatever number they went again they would just pick the number over here and I would let them use a creative pin once more so we're going to use smiley faces. We got a two. We're going to make a square on the, t the two. And so it just helps me to know that they're understanding the concept of numbers and words that go with them. All right, our next slide. This is smiley faces and, well, all different faces. And so there's two important factors to this particular slide. This is helping them. We would go over and say, okay, what does each... Uh, face mean. And but before I would ask them what the face means or if they understand the face, I would say, okay, which one is different? And so we would go and we would uh, pick which one is different. And also it's important that they understand the difference between same and different. They know it. So I would get them to mark an X on 
the the one that's different right here. And so we would just mark an X. Then we got that. So we go to the next slide. This is patterns, and this is helping us just to know that, okay, this is the same. These two are the same. This one's different. And so they're going to follow this, and we're going to say, okay, there's two triangles and one circle, and we have one triangle. So out of these two, which one goes? And, of course, it's the triangle, and so we would just click and drag it, and this helps me to know that they understand patterns, and we'll, we'll build off of that. The next one, this is a timer. I give them five seconds to be able to click a pin of their choice and answer the question. Uh, they have five seconds to click the pin, and then after that, their time counts. And so we'll do this. Click it, it's going, I'm clicking a pin, I'm going to answer the question. Just like that. So, this is a graphic organizer, and here I would ask them to write their age, and so they're five. First, I would let them use the magic pin, and we would write five. And I would let them, I would want them to do it a couple of times until I knew that they're pretty accurate on it. See, I messed up right there. And then finally, when they were, we would use a creative pen, and they would get to use whatever one they wanted, and we would make a five. All right, and so at the end, I would give them a hand clap, tell them a good job. This can be used as a lesson or a assessment, so it's whatever. I hope you enjoyed uh, the lesson that I made. Have a good day.